Good afternoon. We are so happy you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you enjoy this video, we hope we'll return tomorrow. I am going to show you how I'm going to spunk up some of our leftovers. So I am just laying the rice and beans I made the other day in a burrito this time instead of a taco alongside the mushrooms. So then I topped it with the mushrooms, some lime juice, and then I'm going to throw it back on the pan just to sear it for a for a second once I get it folded up. So here are our leftovers just reimagined in a different way plus I made potato wedges. Hey everybody, I made gumbo. Just kidding, I didn't. Um, I actually was going to work late but there's been a lot of issues going on with our servers at work and last minute they sent like an emergency like hey we're shutting down the servers at 5 p.m. so we can try to fix them before we start up business tomorrow. But the thing is I was trying to do some later evening reports. So I got booted from my program like in the middle of it. So bittersweet. Don't have to work now. It's which is control. awesome. It's but because it's out of, completely out of my control. Sorry, I gotta go send our newsletter out. Oh yeah, I thought you sent it out already. No, I gotta send it out at 515. I gave everybody the heads up. Some notice. Oh yeah. Um uh, but it was a crazy busy day, but I survived to some degree. And now we're going to have a relaxing, delicious dinner, and then I'm going to build another piece of furniture for our baby's room. And halfway through the week calls for fancy drinks. It's more than halfway because it's holiday week. Tomorrow's Friday. Mm -hmm. And it's early release. Oh my gosh. <laughs> did you just get so pumped? I did. It's time. It's time to go build another piece of furniture. Ah! But this we time, just watched one, one episode of Trying. Maybe we'll watch more after, but I'm like, i got to build a, a day bed. We gotta get the plants up. We gotta get the plants up. We gotta get a rocking chair. And the crib needs to arrive. And the crib needs to arrive. Are we gonna see the rocking chair this weekend, maybe? Maybe. And I need to, I want it to pick out a new rug because the rug I picked has bad reviews. I hope this is not too bad to build because I've kind of built it before. I've helped my friend Josh take this apart and rebuild it when. Yeah, the bugs, bugs have it. Um, they have the same one. So, so you're a pro. <laughs> All right, so here's the four boxes for the day bed that's gonna go right here. But I realized that I never, because I didn't wanna interfere with our neighbors, I actually need to anchor this uh, wardrobe to the wall. So I'm gonna do that first, just so if it is loud, I won't be doing it at 10 o'clock at night for our, our uh, next door neighbors. But man, I love this little wardrobe. We gotta get some stuff in it. He finally gets, gets comfy right where Peter's going to start working. And I literally just got done securing this to the wall, so it's officially like done and installed. Safe, safe, safe. Centered, safe, safe, safe. I mean, I could probably rip it off the wall because it's yeah. a drywall. We gotta got to fill it now there. with stuff. The little boy couldn't get on there and cause damage, at least until he's three. He's hyped up on coffee from stealing it from me, maybe two. So I will help Peter clear this area, get it vacuumed and whatnot. Um, but I spent the day, like, no, not the day, the afternoon, going over Peter's script that he wrote for our ACS World Marathon Challenge video because we have to get to filming that. Um, we to to and we have to get to fundraising and, fundraising. Um, and training. So I went over the script and just made like small changes and now, I'm going to take Peter's list of videos that he wants to include within the video, like old footage, and get those files ready so I can start bringing them into Premiere to edit, and that way we're, we're like organized with the footage so when we film the rest of it, um, we can just place it in where we need to. Wow, 
huge progress leap. Yeah. Like I'll turn here because I I hope this is gonna be one of those things that just like is so satisfying, you know, like ripping the plastic film off a new piece of like TV or technology. Look at those panels slide in each other. Wow. So this is also gonna be our guest room. Yeah, we... James gets booted if you come hang out with the book arts. <laughs> right, and so it'll be a twin bed all the time slash changing table slash just somewhere to relax and hang, hang with him. Um, but then if we have a visitor stay the night, it can move out to a queen. We still have to get the mattresses. But this bed will last a long time. It could pot potentially be our kids' first beds. Oh, for, that's a that's a big first bed. This got turned into a bigger one and they kept it out the whole time. Maybe live in large. Our crib actually turns into a toddler bed, so it would be like once we have another that baby. That's galore. One hour later. May or may not have fallen asleep on the couch. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Do you want to see? Oh my goodness. Look at all those plushies and <laughs> pillow. You really think you're doing it. Yeah, especially look at these little shoes. In the books. Aw. Sweet. I picture Sarah when she's a baby. <laughs> this is awesome. We're still figuring out the configuration because this is such a weird shaped room. We've explained it before. There's doors everywhere. Um, and we were hoping to have a rocking chair. We'll figure Did you it out. How much storage we have now? We have so much storage. Um, but today, after I finished getting all that ACS stuff ready for our video, I just took it really easy because I've been just finding this week that I've really been feeling the pregnancy. Like, my, um, my, like my hips are aching. Sorry, the camera died on me. This battery actually might not even be good either. Um, but yeah, my hips have been aching. I've had brown ligament pain, I've had back pain, um, and this week it's all just kind of decided to show up. Um, I can kind of always tell when the baby's doing some growing. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling that today. And so I just took it easy and watched Princess and the Frog. She's mad because Peter went outside. Oh gosh, I said the word. I put Eve on the day bed. She's gonna love this when there's a mattress on it. Oh dear. And it's so low that she's, and she's she hopped up on our bed the other day and how high is that? Yeah. She's gonna this is gonna be nothing. What are you doing? Are you getting the measuring tape? Yeah, I'm measuring the one chair that we like, which would probably be similar to if it's not the exact same one, similar. It's only twenty eight inches wide. Oh, I need to see that. But is it is it like let's not mess up the measuring like I did for the couch, our first couch? Is it twenty eight for the seat? Twenty eight from outside to outside? I think from outside to outside. Yeah, and then it's like that's the thing. It's like thirty six. That looks right. Yeah. I suggest that we could like have it tucked perpendicularly in the corner here when it's not in use, and just as easily like slide it out. Yeah. And then we could keep this here because imagine this with like beautiful curtains, beautiful comfy pillows. Nice lamp. Let's get a nice lamp nice for one of the corners. Yeah, a table over there, a lamp over here, a crib right here. All right, I think we're gonna wind down and watch some more trying. She's got the aches and ooks going on I, today. I explained it while you were outside. Oh, okay, so we're just gonna play cool the rest of the evening. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get in the snuggler, best part about our couch. <laughs> So I was like, I think I want to lay, and I was like, you go ahead, I'll take the snuggler. <laughs> Sometimes you just tell your wife, your best friend, your loved one, you're just going to go get him McDonald's french fries. So, I, after she got set up on the couch, I hopped in the car, and here I am. I really just missed the cutest stretch, but that's what, oh, could you hear that exhausted exhale? That's what happens when you're not about Apple TV Plus and you are ready for bed. Wanna go to bed? Yeah, you tired? Oh my goodness, it's July. I gotta flip this around. Okay, so we have two messages today. One for July 
this bright new day, complete with 24 hours of opportunities, choices, and attitudes, a perfectly matched set of 1,440 minutes. This unique gift, this one day, cannot be exchanged, replaced, or refunded. Handle with care. Make the most of it. There is only one to a customer. And then the daily message. Wherever you are, be all there. Jim Elliott. I like that. The monthly... What? I have my finger. Oh, gosh. The monthly message reminded me of something I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. The monthly message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know how July has its own message? Hmm? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. <laughs> it reminded me of something. It's something serious. <laughs> I woke up, Evie. Okay, sorry, Eve, real quick. Reminded me of what I posted on Instagram today on our. Um, baby page because it just like pointed out like after going through infertility but also loss that like when you just look at people you're like you are a miracle it is so incredible that you were created and born and became you what does Gary V say he says lots of stuff well, he says something about, like, the chances of you being one born. So I just want to tell everybody here that you are a miracle. And that there's a reason you're here. Okay. That just reminded me of that. Good night to our puppy. Good night to our friends. We're considering switching rooms with James. Got to do some measuring. That's a crazy idea we had. Um, possibility. Give him more room to play. Um, but we'll see. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>